What's up, everybody? Marvel the Cross 316, back with another comic book haul. Today, we are looking at a great stack of comics that I bought off of eBay in the last two months. And I'm just going to go through these books today for your viewing pleasure. And so, to start off the bat here, we're going to be looking at some spectacular Spider-Man, some old ones here. These are ones that I'm just filling in the holes in my run for the Spectacular Spider-Man. It's one of the series that I love and enjoy reading as I'm a big Spider-Man collector. And so we're going to start out this haul with issue number three. And these next, I would say, eight books are from Lee's Comics. He has a eBay page and also a comic book store. I think he's based out of California. I had just recently purchased these books from him and they just arrived today. Um, so really, really happy to add this one to the collection, issue number three. This is the first appearance of this villain here, the Light Master. And so definitely looking forward to opening up this book and reading it for the first time as well as just adding it to my spectacular Spider-Man run. You know, filling in those holes as much as I can. Here we have issue number four. And he also put the price on here. So I got this one for $9 and I got number three for $5. Can't beat those prices, y'all, for these early, I mean, early spectacular Spider-Man comics here. This one featuring the Vulture. And I don't think that's Mary Jane. I think that's somebody else. But um, a beautiful winter cover here. Um, just beautiful stuff here. Another beauty and glad to add it to the ever-growing Spectacular Spider-Man collection. Then we got issue number five. So, yeah, I got all of these in consecutive order here um, because I purchased all these because I just want to read these stories. That's really the reason why I purchased these as well as um, adding them to the collection um, to, you know, because I'm a completist. I want to get all the spectacular Spider-Man comics that I uh, can from volume one. And so here we have Vulture, and this time he is teaming up with the Hitman. And I just love this cover right here. Um, just beautiful here where Spider-Man just looks so helpless. His costume is torn to shreds. I mean, he looks like he is just about to be defeated here. So it's going to be very interesting how he gets out of this one. A beautiful white background for this cover right here. Spider Kill. Got this for $8. All right, just continuing on. Uh, right now we have issue number six. And Morbius is one of those underrated villains that I think doesn't get a lot of love. He definitely uh, hasn't gotten a lot of love after that uh, failure of a movie that featured him. Um, but I think he's a pretty cool villain. And so we see here, This I think this is a reprint of Marvel Team-Up number three. I didn't know that at the time when I purchased this, but it's still um, a part of the Spectacular Spider-Man run, and it's one I didn't have. So glad to get this one for $7. Oh yeah, when you got comics like this from the, er the Bronze Age, these early Spectacular Spider-Mans, especially this one for $5, I'll pick those up at any day of the week. So here we have issue number seven, continuing on that storyline here with Morbius, a beautiful Morbius cover here. I think this is by uh, Gil Kane. I could be wrong, though. So Menace is the man called Morbius. I got this in very fine condition. And I think... That is pretty accurate here. Oh, so we got Cockrum and Milgram. Okay, Dave Cockrum and Al Milgram on this. So really cool, really cool. 
And the last one I have for Lee's comics regarding Spectacular Spider-Man is issue number eight. So, I, yes, y'all, I got issue number three through eight from Lee's comics on eBay. I think that is awesome, in my opinion, getting these early Spectacular Spider-Mans for a really good prices, $8. I mean, come on, y'all. So, yeah, this is a beautiful cover as well. I mean, look at that. Spider-Man and Morbius fighting against each other here. The final battle. Come on, y'all. That That's awesome. Can't get any better than that. All right, and so now moving on from that, we're now looking at mycomicshop.com, which is one of the main uh, eBay stores I use. And so, y'all know that I'm a big Defenders fan, and I'm just filling in those holes. Um, I've been uh, reading these books as well. Um, I left off on issue 88. Well, issue 89 features a death. The death of Patsy Walker's mom. And so, uh, this one's a beautiful cover. I just love those, the orange and pink in the background here. Um... The defenders are comforting, you know, Hellcat here who's mourning the loss of her mom. Um, so it's really interesting here. And then we also have issue number 90. And this one right here is just awesome. A good storyline featuring Mandrill and guest starring Daredevil. So yeah, really cool cover here. And uh, got it in VF minus shape, so 7.0, and it's a beautiful white background cover here. Um, really enjoying this, uh, you know, series here as I'm also working on collecting the Defenders and trying to complete that series. Um, no rush, like always, you know, it's all about being patient, looking for the best deals, and, um, you know, just enjoying the stories, because that's what the comics is all about. Enjoying the art and stories. So, I'm also a big fan of John Byrne's uh, thing here. And I had taken a long break from collecting the thing. But, recently I've been reading John Byrne's Fantastic Four run. And it coincides with the thing. Because the thing actually got his own series. Um... And so this takes place right after Secret Wars, um, that original Secret Wars. And uh, this is issue number 11 where the Thing, Ben Grimm, is now on Battle World. He has stayed behind after the Secret Wars when they all fought uh, the Beyonder and Doctor Doom. Well, um, I didn't have this one. And I also got this from Lee's Comics for $3, y'all. Can't beat that. So really looking forward to reading this one. And then mycomicshop.com also had issue number 12, and I didn't have this one. And so, looking forward to continuing to read these John Byrne stories and artwork. Just looking at John Byrne's art is awesome. I love John Byrne. Um, if y'all been keeping up with my comic book hauls over the past couple of years, y'all know that I'm a big John Byrne fan. So, really happy to get issue number 12. And then continuing with the John Byrne theme, we have issue number 270. Just a beautiful cover here with uh, featuring Mr. Fantastic. We have She-Hulk, who had just joined the team. And also, I believe that uh, Wyatt Wingfoot, um, one of Johnny Storm's college roommates and best friends. So definitely looking forward to reading this one. I have not read this one before. But um, slowly but surely, y'all, I'm going to have all of John Byrne's uh, Fantastic Four run. He did it for a consecutive five years. Um, I have about 16 issues to go. Now, back to Spectacular Spider-Man here. Um, I've been collecting those Copper Age issues and reading um, them also. So, this is the storyline, that little mini-series, or little mini-story, rather, of where is Spider-Man? It um, happened in all of the Spider-Man titles. Spectacular, amazing, as well as 
um, Web of Spider-Man. And so, uh, this one was a really good s story here. Black Cat lost her powers, and so she goes to uh, Doctor Doom to uh, investigate why she lost her Black Cat powers. We also have issue number 118 here. Um, this little kid here, Alexander, gained these powers, and he's being hunted down by S.H.I.E.L.D., and it ends tragically. I won't spoil it if you have not read this one. Um, pretty decent story here featuring Spidey in his black suit costume. Really cool stuff. And then we have issue 119, a man oh man. This was one heck of an issue here. So Sabretooth is seeking revenge on Spider-Man after... Um, Issue number 117 of Spider-Man, where he fought Spider-Man. Spider-Man humiliated Sabretooth, put him in the hospital, and now Sabretooth is seeking revenge, and he doesn't fight Spider-Man in this one. He actually fights the Black Cat, and he loses to the Black Cat. So this one was a pretty funny issue, and it also... Kind of a uh, spoiler, but Black Cat has turned her back on Spider-Man because he broke her heart, and she is uh, forming an alliance with the Foreigner, who is uh, kind of like a minor villain that appeared in these issues back in 1986. But a beautiful cover here by, I believe, uh, Rich Buckler. Beautiful Rich Buckler. Uh, cover right here featuring Sabretooth. And this one is a key right here. This is issue number 18 of Web of Spider-Man. Um, this is continuing that Where is Spider-Man? Uh, where Spider-Man was missing for an entire month, missing in action. And this is the first cameo appearance of, I believe, Eddie Brock. It doesn't show his face. It doesn't show his body. It just shows his hand. And some mysterious man, who we believe is Eddie Brock in this issue, pushed Peter Parker on these train tracks. And, I mean, Peter Parker almost died after being shoved on those train tracks. And the most peculiar thing is that his spider sense did not go off when he was pushed. So that kind of demonstrates uh, the lead up to eventually Eddie Brock becoming the Venom. And so I'm loving this series right now. I'm loving Web of Spider-Man, Spectacular, and Amazing Spider-Man at this point. As it's all leading up to issue 300, which I'm looking forward to and hopefully getting for my birthday next year. That is that is the big wish, is to get... Um, Issue 300 of Amazing Spider-Man next year. But uh, here we go with Amazing Spider-Man number 280. And this is the first appearance of this villain team here called Sinister Syndicate. Featuring the Beetle, Speed Demon, Rhino, Hydro Man, and also Boomerang. And it's a guest appearance of Silver Sable. Spider-Man is looking for some quick cash here. He wants to help out uh, Flash Thompson at the time, who has been um, posed as the Hobgoblin. He was framed and put in jail, and Peter Parker doesn't believe that he's the Hobgoblin, so he's going to work for Silver Sable, and if he defeats the Sinister Syndicate, then um, he can get paid. But that's not what happens, y'all, and I'll let y'all read it for yourself. This is a good issue. Definitely worth the read um, and artwork by the great uh, Ron Friends and story by Tom DeFalco in my view one of the greatest uh, Spider-Man writers and can't go wrong with these 25th anniversary border framed covers here so here we have issue number 282 of the Amazing Spider-Man and so this one was uh, interesting and 
a good read as Spider-Man fights the X-Factor, the team of X-Factor who had just uh, became a new team. And it features that original X-Men team of, you know, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, Beast, Angel. So, really interesting stuff. They were hired by J. Jonah Jameson to track down Spider-Man and defeat him. But they end up uh, siding with Spider-Man instead. Here we have issue number 819 of Web of Spider-Man, and this features the first appearance of Humbug, this guy right here. He um, was an easy guy to defeat. He's like this teenage guy who's just trying to make a name for himself. But we also have a cameo appearance of Solo, and it's a villain that will appear in later issues of Web of Spider-Man. So looking forward to uh, looking at that villain and finding out exactly what he can do and what kind of threat he poses to Spider-Man. Got this in fine, very fine shape. So really cool cover. Here we have Spectacular Spider-Man number 120. Just love these 25th anniversary uh, border frame covers here. Web of Spider-Man, issue number 20, another 25th anniversary cover. Web of Spider-Man, issue number 21. This one looks really interesting because uh, it looks like there is a fake Spider-Man going up against the real Spider-Man. Who is who? That's the big question. I believe this is the fake Spider-Man. And so uh, Spider-Man's original costume had gotten shredded in, uh, I believe, Web of Spider-Man, issue number uh, 17. And so Spider-Man has been stuck with that black costume for quite some time. But uh, I think eventually he sews a new costume, an original red and blue costume. But for now, I think he's stuck with that black costume. So this one looks really cool. Looking forward to reading this. Then we have... Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 121. This is the last comic I'll show before we look at that big book that y'all saw in the thumbnail. So this is a really cool looking cover here featuring Mary Jane, J. Jonah Jameson, and of course Spider-Man. What is J. Jonah Jameson doing with a gun? That's a big question right here. I don't even know, but I know it's going to be one heck of a read and I'm just looking forward to it. And okay, y'all, so y'all have uh, seen in the thumbnail that I featured this beauty of a book right here. And I'm not going to reveal the gray just yet, but I got this off of eBay, and this has been on my 2024 want list. It's been a book I've been wanting for quite some time. It is the first appearance of the Black Cat, y'all. First appearance of the Black Cat ever. This is issue number 194 of The Amazing Spider-Man. And I got this for a really good deal off of eBay. I won it in an auction. And so what is the grade here? 6.5, y'all. Beautiful cover right here. And it's a beautiful grade. Um, really happy to add this graded comic to my collection here um you know i'm not much of a graded guy i don't like uh, collecting too many graded books i'm more of a raw kind of guy but if i am going to get a graded comic book it's going to be a book like this and i think it's well worth if i'm going to you know continue to buy amazing spider-man and i want to get these key appearances i might as well buy them graded and so really super stoked to add this one to the collection i have this one uh sitting up on my comic book shelf 
um, right next to Web of Spider-Man and uh, Amazing Spider-Man 252. So just really, really happy to add this one. I, I bought this one back in uh, July. And so I'm just super happy to add it to the collection. So everybody, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this pretty cool haul here of books. I have a lot of reading to do. Um, you know, I'm going to try to make some more videos, um, but, you know, I'm busy with school. But I hope y'all uh, like this video. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below what y'all thought about this haul, and I will see y'all in the next one.